its world powers. That deal was reached last year with the goal of curbing Iran's nuclear activities and in exchange, international sanctions can now be lifted. And that is now happening. Uh, those sanctions have essentially cut the country off from global financial markets and resulted in severe economic hardship for ordinary Iranians. Well, the Iranian Foreign Minister, Mohammad Javid Zarif, uh, was speaking a little earlier on, standing alongside the EU foreign policy chief, Federica Mogherini, with whom he's been negotiating. She spoke before him, announcing that the sanctions against Iran have, with immediate effect, been lifted. We've also heard that same message coming from the US Secretary of State, John Kerry. We can cross now to Iran expert Milad Joka, who joins us now uh, on the line. Uh, Milad, this is a truly uh, un unprecedented uh, set of uh, diplomatic uh, achievements that's been achieved today, isn't it? Absolutely, Tom. And uh, as far as non-proliferation is concerned, this is indeed, as Federico Mogherini has said, a solid and fair deal. It is a very strong deal that will uh, give an, uh, an impetus for the non-proliferation treaty, and especially in the region. But is it also the success of diplomacy? Now it's been two years that uh, Iran and the United States, plus the P5 plus one and the European Union, have been negotiating uh, over this uh, nuclear crisis. Uh, it was especially difficult between Iran and the United States, who have been uh, in a 35 years old enmity. And now they've been able to talk together, to understand one another, and to get to this uh, nuclear deal. So. We have to give credit to Foreign Minister Jawad Zarif and Secretary of State John Kerry, as well as the European Union, uh, for this uh, success of diplomacy that is historic. Yeah, and it's, I think it's fair to say this deal has, has had its fair share of opponents as well uh, in the United States, in Israel, in Saudi Arabia, but also in Iran itself. Absolutely. It's all about politics. When you have uh, the moderate president, uh, Hassan Rouhani, who was elected in 2013 with 51% of the, the votes in the first round, it was a sort of political earthquake in Iran with a huge push from the moderates and the reformists who won this election. And of course, it created a lot of tensions for conservatives who have been opposed to this and playing different cards to try to sabotage the nuclear deal, uh, which at the end of the day is in the interest of the Iranian people in the Iranian businesses uh, who are now able to get back to the international uh, stage. And But it is about politics and Iran has elections and the next elections will be very important on, uh, at the end of February the Majlis election, the parliament, and also the assembly of experts, which is in charge of supervising the supreme leader, plus electing uh, the supreme leader uh, for the next eight years now. Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, Iran thank expert Milad Jokar, thank you for speaking to France 24. Well, let's get a reaction now from the United States.